Hey everyone, it's Rosek here again. Today, we're going to show you how to integrate Kiddos, the world's largest mobile network for kids, into your Android Studio project. If you're ready, let's go. Alrighty, here we are at Enhance.co. To get started, we're going to go up to this little green button here called Enhance My App and click it. This takes us to step one, where we can select the different services that Enhance offers. Today, we're working with interstitial ads, so let's scroll down and click where it says Interstitial Ads. After clicking, we want to scroll down and choose which program we use to create our app. We're working out of Android Studio today, so we're going to go ahead and choose Android. After selecting Android, we want to go down and get our drag and drop library. This is an important step. We need this library when we head over to Android Studio. And just like that, we're over in Android Studio. We've already set up a test project to show you how easy it is to implement interstitial ads in your project. The first thing we need to do is import our drag and drop library. So we're going to head right over here to the app button and we're going to click new and we're going to add a new directory. We're going to name the directory libs, L-I-B-S, short for library. We'll go ahead and click OK and now we need to drag in our drag and drop library. Go to your download folder and you're going to find enhanceconnector.jar and actually drag it over to our libs folder. It might take a second or two for this to pop up, but once it does, go ahead and click OK. Now we're going to head back over to our libs folder and we just want to verify that the connector library has been installed and you can see it right there, enhanceconnector.jar. So from here we're going to scroll down to the build.gradle area and we're going to go ahead and add this line right here. We'll go ahead and highlight it for you so you can see it. This will allow the project to build using the library that we just integrated. Heading over to the source folder now, we're going to choose a layout that we had previously built. Activity main to XML. You can see we have already set the button to call interstitial ads. For reference in the code, we call it show enter button. Now let's head over to main activity Java. Once we're over here, we can see we've already set up our button and it's referencing our show enter button. After that, we are going to add our dummy call that says is interstitial ready, followed by show interstitial ad. Now that we have those calls in place, it's time to generate our APK. We're going to head up to the area on top where it says build. And then we are going to choose generate signed APK. At this step, you can create a new APK in Keystore. Uh, we don't want you seeing our password, so we have already made one. But from here, you can enter in your own information and create your own key store to upload uh, to Enhance later. We're going to go ahead and click Next, and this is just asking us where we want to choose for our destination folder. So we'll go ahead and click Finish. So that's it for Android Studio. We're going to head back to Enhance now and finish it up. Before we head back over to Enhance, I wanted to stop right here at our emulator. I wanted to show you what it looked like when we clicked an interstitial ad before enhancing. We'll get this little banner that pops up right here. It says Enhance Interstitial. Well done. This is a dummy interstitial. A real ad will appear when your app is enhanced. Now we know everything is good in Android Studio. So now back here at Enhance, we are going to go ahead and upload our file. After your APK has been uploaded, we're going to click continue to step number two, where we're going to choose which ad network we want to use. Today we're using kiddos, so we're going to scroll down in the interstitial section and choose kiddos. When you create your account with kiddos, you're going to be asked to make your publisher ID and security token. We need those two pieces of information. Enter those in, and we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the screen to move on. I'm going to go ahead and click continue which brings us to the area where we can sign our app. 
Now we've already made our certificate, so from here we're going to upload it. There's other options where you can just sign for testing, but if you don't sign your app, it's not going to work. After you upload your key store, enter in your information, and you scroll down and click Enhance Now. That's it. You've enhanced your app. This is the final step of the process. We have a couple options available to you. You can download your app. We can just get started on enhancing another app, or it brings you a link to over to publishing on Google Play. And you can see where it says enhancements that we've added kiddos. Just wanted to show you too real quick what it looks like after you enhance your app. This is the same emulator. Now when we click show interstitial ads, you will actually see an ad from kiddos. And there you go. And that is it. We have showed you how easy it is to use Enhance with Android Studio and how simple it can be to choose a network like kiddos. I hope you guys had a fun time. I hope you learned something. Please check us out on social media at Enhance My App. Visit the website enhance.co and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take it easy.